How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back again. We have some video. We have some stuff to talk about. Some new development is happening. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. But anyways, let's jump right into this. Let's say like a, maybe a month back. I know I did make a video about the WePad Sonic that came out and I did talk about it. I also talked about the WePad company as a whole and uh, some improvements that they need to make on their parts and stuff like that. And also about making electric scooter that, you know, people can actually get their hands on. And I touched on some important parts that we would like to see improved on. And today we have a new WePad. Uh, it's actually not new, but it's actually a smaller version of the WePad Sonic. This one is called the WePad X. Let's play that video. Uh, you can see them building it. It's going to go ahead and hit the website so you guys can see it. It's right here. WePad X e-scooter i lose i lose pretty nice it's always good to see that there's how they assemble this thing studio and put it together and all that good stuff yeah i do like that it looks pretty good uh so this we pad let's click on it right here so we can talk about it as we're looking at it this we pad sonic x seems a little bit more promising um seems a little bit more made for uh some people not all people again like i said i don't know who we paid makes the electric scooter for but it, it seems like they are listening a little bit to what's being said somebody was telling me oh yeah we pay doesn't listen what are you talking about they don't listen to people whatever they don't care about what you think or what you say but i have a surprise for you today on this electric scooter right now it says that the charger is included i don't know if you guys can see that let's pull that up on the computer real quick so you guys can see it uh, let's go right there and let's see you guys can see it right there 15 amp fast charger included included you see it right there last time i made such a big deal about this because it does not make any sense for this company to be selling you guys an electric scooter and it does not come with any charger whatsoever that you had to pay an extra 200 dollars for a charger i actually read up on their website it seemed like they added that and they say that you don't get a charger for this you have to buy a charger for it and you're charging people 9k fifteen thousand dollars and they were like saying that they are not gonna give you a charge so i made a big deal and i'm happy right now to see that they have added on their website that you do get a charger a fast charger with the electric scooter that's what i'm talking about you know some of you like to kiss ass and i don't think that's a good thing with some of these companies that like some of you are like big fans and stuff like that i'm a big fan too i like we paid i like what the company is doing i like the improvement i like how they're always pushing the boundaries of technology how they're always like making new stuff they don't stick with old stuff they're always like improving bringing out something new something that's like wow like you know i like that so i like the company but i also have to be honest i also have to make sure that we give them honest feedback they, some of you just want to weep it from them or you just want to get some type of a deal or you want to get sponsorship from them therefore you don't tell them the truth that sets companies back it, it makes company not to improve on the product that they're making because you're not giving them honest feedback so i'm happy that they listen it might not have been my video that they watch and they listen but shoot whoever said it or however they said it they seem like they listened which is good um let's talk a little bit about this new one this is a 84 volt electric scooter man it's gonna be a beast um 40 amp controller that looks good performance depending on the rider's weight power i think the controllers i hope they're using that new sonic controllers because like i said before people did have issues with the controllers um on the older we pad like the we pad fx uh the we pad sst those uh powerful as uh motors and, and end up messing up the controllers but this thing is pretty looks pretty nice uh this is a smaller version like i said of the we pad sonic this is gonna be the we pad x it's still very very big don't don't mistake it it says that the top speed right here is 80 miles per hour that is pretty crazy you're never gonna be going that fast uh it does say it's four let's go to the score right here sorry i'm getting messages again every time i'm making a video all of a sudden i become popular i am not that popular guys top speed here 80 miles and 
then 13 inch tubeless tires 13 inch tires are the way to go now um, i like my holly burn gs that's here rocking that 14 inch tires just perfect i love it man small tires i don't know man i'm not i'm not a big fan now if they make a 14 inch pmt tires it's over man i'm getting that stuff right away you have uh i think four do brakes they added some really nice brakes onto this thing the wee pad always are going to look attractive man there's no way that the wee pad will not look attractive that thing is always gonna look attractive you got like four they do brake mounted in the front that's crazy man these guys are always pushing it they're always improving and oh, i just wish that their stuff was attainable and they say that they're gonna be opening up some companies uh somewhere in the u.s and in some locations and i i applaud them for that you know let's give them a little clap I hope you guys do open up those companies and I hope that you guys, uh, those factories uh, over here, and I hope you guys understand one of the most important parts, it will be customer service. If you guys open 10 locations in different countries and the customer service sucks, you guys might as well just keep the whole company over there in uh, Korea because there's no point to bring them overseas if the customer service is not going to be good at all. Um, now if you guys are also going to still make it difficult to attain part, this is going to be rocking a screen man you know everything that people have been asking from the fx from the sst i think the we pet sonic x actually is going to offer you that which is including the screen um they have a bunch of stuff that they have added of course you have your horn they even added a horn to this you guys already know the old we pet doesn't have a horn so a display is also a huge you know upgrade um for we pet because most of the time the we pets that we pet fx we pet sst um um, some of the other Wii pads that they have, they do not have any display. So this Sonic is the one that, you know, is pretty much a complete package. And they come with a charger. Yes, I'm going to keep emphasizing on that charger. It is a good idea that you guys decided to add that charger because that was ridiculous. Okay, but I appreciate you guys for listening to somebody. I don't know if you listen to me or someone else, but I appreciate you guys for listening to somebody because it's really important in this community that we all speak our mind so companies like you will continue to improve and succeed in what you are working on. It doesn't make sense for you guys to make this amazing electric scooters and nobody buys it it's not even that they don't want to buy it it's just not practical for us it's not uh it's not wise it's not a, a good investment because when you invest so much money in, in that thing you don't even want to you can't even leave it i i will not even this we pet sonic right now anywhere that i take this is going everywhere with me i will not leave this electric scooter anywhere because that's a lot of money and somebody can easily just pick that up and run that is why we do not want these things to be that expensive okay but anyway i just wanted to talk about this real quick and i want to talk about that charger <laughs> and the website looks a little bit better you know you guys website looks way better you know it's very clean and just like if you're going to purchase seems like it's just uh, straightforward now so i'm telling you like check out as a guest they're checking out from their website was a little bit difficult before but it seemed like they're they gotten better i'm not trying to purchase this and i'm already out of the scooter game right now for a while like buying scooter i'm out of the game after getting my gx but i will review some electric scooters that come out give you guys an honest opinion if i do get a chance to try out any of them you guys already know uh, any company that want to work with me have to be willing to listen to honest feedback if they have issue if they want it to be sugar coated or any of that stuff i'm not with it i don't care what you're trying to pay me or whatever nah i have to be able to give you guys honest feedback otherwise i don't work with those companies so if you don't see too too many companies on my platform that i'm talking about their stuff or they send me stuff that's because they either said oh you can only say positive things about our scooters i say hell no i'm not doing that i'm out of the scooter game the gx is, is man the gs man i can't that scooter back there whew man you want to ride this thing every day bro uh that chain drive i'm sorry man there is nothing like it this thing is just beautiful I, i'm i i love this thing i haven't seen anything to attract me to you know want to leave this i don't think i'm gonna get tired of this scooter at all even my do trunk thunder 2 i just you know brought it out right here i don't think i'm gonna get tired of these two scooters at all you know these things they're really well made machines i just hate this this clamp i just dislike this thing sorry we're out of talking about 
that by the Wii Pad Sonic. But anyway, shout out to Wii Pad for bringing something a little bit smaller, you know, for people that don't want to carry 300 and 330 pounds. That was how much the Wii Pad Sonic, uh, the original one, that's how much it weighed. The Wii Pad Sonic X, let's, let's look at that. I think this one is 175 pounds, which is still heavy. Uh, yeah, 70, see right there, 79 kg. I looked that up for you guys right now. Convert that stuff to pounds. 175.6 pounds. That's how much that weighs. That's still heavy. You ain't carrying that up no stairs. Leave it unless you're the hawk. <laughs> Forget about it. Um, I think that still weighs less than the Dutron X because I think the Dutron X is uh, 200 pounds. So coming in at 175 pounds, it's not bad. But I just think once electric scooter cross like 105 pounds to 120 pounds, that's just too much uh, for my own liking. But hey, this is still a really nice scooter if you do not have to go up the stairs or anything like that i think you can go ahead and grab yourself one of these we're not even talking about the price i'm over here acting as if you know this thing is cheap you guys should already know the price tags on the wii pad scooters are ridiculously high it is not for everybody man and um they make some things that are affordable like i said but it's just not it's not it's not practical for us this is gonna cost you nine thousand uh i don't know if they do free shipping with this stuff uh shipping charge they, they're not putting it there if they're gonna actually charge you for shipping or not so chances are they might actually charge you for shipping because normally they do put free shipping there you guys we paid you guys have to stop trying to nickel and dime people when they're already spending this amount of money people are already spending like nine nine k ten k like no just stop that and i think this is because whoever that um does this is probably one of their it's either their ceo or their main manager that got money like that and he thinks that this is chicken change this is not chicken change for anybody people that are paying this amount you better be kissing their ass because i want people to understand right now you and me we are the people that are in charge if you're going to buy a wee pad and you're paying this amount of money they better be giving you the best customer service out there if you send them a message you should not be taking them four days or three days to get back to you and we paid i'm letting you guys right now you need to know that customers that invest this amount of money on your product you better treat them with the absolute amount of respect okay because it is not easy now i'm not saying that you should disrespect the people that are not spending this amount even if somebody is only spending 2k that's still a lot of money you should still respect them but i'm just saying these guys hold them in high risk. don't don't be playing games man because i've seen you people do stuff like that people spending 11k on your product and you're still playing playing games taking forever to respond to them they're asking oh their controller have issues and you guys are taking forever to respond that is not okay at all and then or oh, you try to play that game where they like the company try to blame the user for whatever error or cause oh what did you do oh really did you make sure that you play well, people are not stupid man come on people that are buying this type of stuff they're not foolish we know what we're buying okay all right well like i said shout out to we paid for this brand new electric scooter we're still looking for something a little bit more more affordable more to uh, everyday use you know something you can use for delivery um transporting your kids and you don't have to worry about if somebody takes this from you that is 10 grand that is gone to the trash man but yeah shout out to these guys for always pushing the boundaries and always releasing something new and um yeah shout out to you guys keep it up peace out